Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Boy, it's uh, it's a little better today than it was for the weekend, but um, it's still, still mean hot out here. Today's Monday. I'm also still where that bee got me. My arm is still like a wreck. I think you guys could see the little little dot there where the stinger was. St it's not swollen anymore, but it itches like heck. Anyway, um, you know, having a hoard like I do, there's all kinds of strange and interesting stuff in the hoard. So let's take a quick walk out to the pool shed. Um, some of the subscribers that have been with me a while have seen the pool shed and they know what's kind of in there. Though, every time I go out to one of these sheds, I discover something I forgot about or rediscover, rediscover something. Um, I just cleaned up this whole area here with the mower. So, I'm able to take a, a shortcut. There used to be a pool here. I think you guys could see some of the remnants. The folks who had the house before me had a pool. And this used to be the shed that went with the pool. I already unlocked it. This um, shed is just over my property line. And uh, that light you see coming in through the roof there, that's not a good thing. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Mostly what I think I have in here, what this is used for is a mouse back bathroom. It smells like mouse piss, quite honestly. What you're looking at right here, I don't know, what is this, a 185 probably? No front suspension. I think I hear a mouse chirping at me. Oh yeah, there's something chirping at me here. There's a go-kart. Right. Yeah, mouse is chirping. I don't want it to jump on my head. Snowman, lawnmower, a couple of lawnmowers. Some bikes. Oh, look, another Yamaha. Um, this is my, uh, that's my Davidson right there. I think you guys have a halfway decent video right you see the tire the second tire tires are shot on it but I came out here for a very specific reason because I found out a buddy of mine collects turtle shells I'm not quite sure why it has this on it but the rest of it it doesn't but it is an old turtle shell I don't know what the turtle died of it's been in this shed. When I bought the house, this shed was here, and it was in the shed back then. The story on this property, and it might have something to do with this turtle shell, is they're only allowed to do, well, let's start at the beginning. My house, the two and change acres I live on, was part of a 30-acre parcel originally which was part of a bigger parcel um, that was a, a family farm way back so anyway it got broken into a 30 acre parcel and the folks had the land for I don't know 20 years or so and what they did was they sold it to a developer plastic surgeon out of New York City who was going to um, put a whole bunch of houses on the back here. One of the reasons why he can't put a bunch of houses on the back here because of these turtles. Now the story I was told on these turtles is that the family who had this place and actually built this house they found these turtles somewhere and they would capture them and bring them back and let them loose on the property. They're known as Blaudling turtles, B-L-A-N-D. 
ing blodling something like that i'm not saying it properly anyway they so they released a bunch of them on this property out back and i guess they took well blodling turtles are on the endangered species list so you can't build anything too close to their habitats so I guess when the doctor, the good doctor, tried to get a subdivision, um, besides finding wetlands, he find this endangered turtle, and uh, and that kind of shut things down. As a matter of fact, we have a turtle with a number on it that regularly lays eggs alongside of our driveway. It's got a little number. Where's the number? I think it's right in the back, right there. Anyhow, this has no number on it, obviously. Um, so they can't develop the land because of these turtles, or they can't go within a certain distance of their habitat. So I'm told. I don't know. All I know is they haven't developed the land, and I'm happy about it. So um, that's the story on this shell. It came with the house. It's been in that shed well over 20 years. It had more of these things on it, more of that color. So I guess you got a little bit of the color so one could identify it. Anyway, since I found out my friend collects these, I'm not sure what's with the hole in the back. Hopefully the kids didn't shoot it with a BB gun and kill the poor thing. That would that would not be cool. But um, anyway, I'm going to send this... Uh, the shell to a buddy of mine and uh, I think it's a, a good thing anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the walk out to the shed it's just uh, you know when it's hot you try to get done some things that you normally don't have time to do like finding turtle shells out in sheds um, folks I uh, really want you to keep your feet down keep your head up and I want you to get out there and enjoy all their days I got to uh, get to fixing a few things um, the mini bike was supposed to disappear today people didn't show up to come get it I guess I was kajijied as they call it all right folks take care once again feet down head up and enjoy all your day don't let somebody take your shell away from you bye now folks